Good afternoon, uh, and, and uh, for, for, for some of the viewers, maybe uh, also good evening and good morning. This is the China Weekly Hangout uh, from uh, a snowy uh, Lake of Geneva. And uh, we, uh, we, uh, uh, we're going for an interesting uh, session today. Uh, my name is Von Steinstra. I mostly run the China Speakers Bureau, uh, uh, but once, uh, once a week we uh, try to focus on a subject that might be of interest in, uh, for people who are involved in China. Uh, today we're going to talk about um, gateways to, uh, for, China, for rich Chinese to, to Europe and especially uh, uh, we have a focus on Cyprus but we might mention other countries too like uh, Spain, uh, uh, Portugal, uh, Ireland. Um, we did uh, uh, late last year a session about uh, how people got into the US and uh, could buy their visas there and uh, that was a pretty popular one and uh, we just see what we uh, can do here. Uh, just as a reminder, if you want to send uh, uh, questions or remarks, uh, you can use both Twitter and Google Plus but use the hashtag the CWH, CWH, two times, the China Weekly Hangout and, and then we get it here in our systems. Today we have as a guest from Cyprus, uh, 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 Paul Panayakuti. Uh, How do you pronounce your name exactly, Paul? Good afternoon from uh, from pleasantly cool Cyprus as well. The name is pronounced Panayakuti. It's actually uh, Paul is a short for my full name, but I think it's going to be making life uh, for everyone easy if we just stick to Paul. Thank you, thank you, Paul. That, let, let, let's, let's do that. But uh, I think, uh, well, uh, pronouncing my name is not easy, so I know a little bit uh, how, it, uh, how, how it is. It, it is uh, well, um, we plan to do next week a session on, we plan to do something on uh, the, uh, the Hong Kong media scene. It yeah? has uh, changed a lot over uh, the past uh, uh, 10 years. Um, but our guest, uh, uh, Paul Fox, who is a regular guest here, uh, uh, is moving and uh, might be out of internet connection next week, so we have to delay that. We're probably going to focus now on uh, the, the, the recent upheaval on uh, uh, the latest report uh, from the US on uh, Chinese and especially the Chinese military hacking uh, into the systems there. It's pretty new and uh, not all the dust has settled down, and uh, I'm still looking for a few uh, interesting guests. So, but uh, it looks like this is going to be our next week uh, subject. Now, what we're going to do is because um, not a lot of people will be familiar with Cyprus, so Paul will give a short introduction on where is his island, where is the, uh, uh, what are the good points, what are the bad points, what are the problems there. So, Paul, can you have a short? Uh, shot at your, uh, at your uh, country. Sure, absolutely, uh, Fons. Um, Cyprus is at the southeast uh, point of Europe. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a European country and it has been actually a full member of the European Union since uh, 2004. You had a presidency uh, not uh, last year. Excuse me? Yes, we did, we did uh, have the presidency of, uh, for the European Union last year, uh, from, uh, from July till the end of 2012. Um, and, uh, well, traditionally Cyprus has been known as a tourist destination uh, because we are so lucky we always enjoy really, really pleasant weather over here. Uh, also, um, historically, due to its geographical position, it, it's people uh, trying to move from uh, one continent to the other. Uh, and when I say continent, I mean Europe, Asia, or Africa. At some point, sooner or later, they're going to stumble on Cyprus. It's in the way, it's in the middle. It kind of joins all these three different continents. Um, so, um, well, I guess today we're going to be talking about people that would like to consider uh, Europe either f for a place to live in or to expand their uh, business there. And uh, once again, Cyprus is right in the way. 
people coming from Asia wanting to move to Europe or Eastern Europe or Northern Africa uh, or all the uh, CIS countries, they're going to do that via Cyprus. Uh, they're going to have to route their business or their trip via Cyprus. Okay. Some way uh, or the other. Are we going to focus on one uh, specific uh, section of migrants, the, uh, the more wealthy Chinese? Uh, so, but one of the reasons I, I wanted to do this was because of an article in, uh, in in the Guardian a few weeks ago, and I thought, well, what's happening here? The uh, the uh, uh, the Chinese are traditionally going, at least the wealthy Chinese are going to uh, the US, part of the UK or Australia. And a lot of the rest of Europe has been uh, left out. Like, like we have, we have a fair share of, uh, of of Chinese visitors, but they are mostly driven by poverty. And they 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 they, they run typically their restaurants here, and that's changing a bit. But to to um, to get the more wealthy Chinese into Europe has been a challenge for a lot of countries. And so. I wanted to, to go because I, I know that not all the, the facts in the article are, are correct. So we, we just go over uh, the, the, the basic facts here. It, it, it said that last year 600 properties in, in Cyprus were picked up by rich Chinese. That, that's correct? That is correct. And it may be slightly a greater, greater number, uh, more than 600. Uh, that, that, that was a new development, or what, 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 why did it happen last year? Um, well, it hasn't been very long that Cyprus has started to uh, develop uh, its ties together with China and other Asian countries. And, well, like I said before, I mean, it's all interrelated. Uh, the geographical position of Cyprus kind of attracts people from Asia in general and specifically from China, when they want to move and go into Europe, they, they naturally use Cyprus as a stepping stone. Um, in addition to that, well, I started by saying, describing the lovely weather that we enjoy here. It, um, Cyprus offers a solution, well, I would like to call it, you can have the cake and eat it. You can... <laughs> uh, you can use Cyprus as a stepping stone to move further into Europe as well as combine it as a really, really lovely and pleasant uh, holiday destination. One doesn't exclude the other. Um, uh, but, but, but a few people um, might wonder how, how we get together here. And, uh, but you are actually the business manager of a law firm who is helping people to come to Cyprus, isn't it? Well, I'm the business development manager of a law firm which um, deals mostly uh, with uh, tax consulting and tax management. Mm -hmm. So uh, residency and uh, citizenship is not uh, something that we focus on, but we have done it before. We have helped our clients before on numerous occasions, and we, we, we are aware of the rules which apply. Okay, hey, uh, just to get this, uh, the, the facts also straight, um, apart from being a member of the European Union, uh, you're also paying in euros. In, 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 uh, that is correct. Yeah. That, that is correct. Are you happy with that? As happy as the rest of Europe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was afraid so. I was afraid so. But, but you are not yet part of the, uh, the Schengen countries, are you? No, we're not. No, we're not, and that is why I, I dare say that I may disagree with a few of the statements which were made in the article you mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. The Guardian. Um, from, from The Guardian, a, which well, it has a title that um, coming to live in Cyprus and by buying a property in Cyprus, you're automatically entitled to travel freely throughout Europe. That is not exactly true it may make traveling in Europe a lot easier and it may help people to move further into Europe but it doesn't guarantee that they will be able to travel freely all over Europe. 
Okay, that that makes a big difference because um, some of the uh, the other countries that I mentioned in the same article, like uh, uh, Spain and, and 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 Portugal and Ireland, they are part of the Schengen countries. Are they competing for the same group of people? That is correct. It's a matter of balance because buying a property in a country and obtaining a residence permit in that country doesn't come alone. It comes with taxes, it comes with a lot of rules and regulations that people who get the residence permit will have to follow. Mm -hmm. And some other countries which are indeed already a member of the Schengen Agreement, they may be offering uh, greater advantages when it comes to traveling throughout Europe but can they compete with the to low tax regime that Cyprus offers? And that is, no the tax question, regime. that is the question that anyone who is interested should ask himself or he should be asked by someone who is an expert and together they should sit down and put things down and try to see which is the solution that suits that person best. Okay, but you you can uh, like the U.S. has a kind of uh, scheme like that. If you put in enough money, you can uh, you can get uh, a license to enter the U.S. That's the same in the Schengen countries. It's the same in the Schengen countries. It's the same in the European Union countries, which are not yet uh, a part of the Schengen Agreement. Okay. Um, for instance, Cyprus officially uh, says, states, that people can come here, they can make a small investment, and they can uh, get the, they can obtain the residence permit. Okay. Uh, they have to prove some basic uh, facts about themselves, but the the, the uh, procedure is pretty straightforward and simple. Furthermore, well, well, let, let's mention a few of the facts you suggested. Um, from the article in the Guardian, it says you, you need to invest 300,000 euro uh, for your some real estate. Correct. Uh, 300,000 euro is the minimum amount uh, that the investment should be valued at. And, and then you need to have a 30,000 euro on your bank. But then it, that, that's, and you, you, of course, need a kind of uh, prove that you have no criminal record and that kind of stuff. Uh, actually, the numbers I have in front of me are 80,000 euro. Okay. Okay. Not 30,000. But still, for a rich person, well, somebody doesn't really have to be that rich. Uh, 80,000 euro is not, of course, a small amount, but it's not an amount that would uh, entitle someone to be called rich. No. Well, it, 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 uh, I think a lot of Chinese would still consider themselves to be rich when they have that. But uh, you're right. It, it's uh, if you if you buy uh, decent real estate in Shanghai, you it might cost you much more money. Or if you buy uh, a small room in Hong Kong, uh, three hundred thousand would be maybe enough for for a space which is one by one meter. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. That's 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 good. Now let let's go back to um, about six hundred people, uh, uh, maybe more, j uh, came to Cyprus last year and they bought. They made this investment. What does bring, like you say, Schengen is not really an option yet. No. Uh, uh, if if they these people want to have a Schengen visa, where can they apply for that? They can apply once they come to Cyprus and it's a lot easier for a resident of a European Union country to obtain a Schengen visa as opposed to a non-resident of a European country. So in that says, sense, yes, Cyprus helps a lot. People who would like to go further into Europe or into the other countries of the European Union, it helps them a lot to obtain uh, a Schengen visa, but it doesn't guarantee it. Uh, who's, who's making the decision? Because since you're part of the European Union, there are no um, uh, Dutch or Belgium embassies in Cyprus anymore. So uh, where do you have to apply for the, uh, the visa? 
uh, you have to go and apply it to be uh, at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Okay, the Cyprus Ministry. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's fine. Uh, hey, then, 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 uh, uh, six hundred people came to uh, to Shanghai uh, to 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 Cyprus with their family. Mm -hmm. um, what is bringing them? Uh, six hundred is still a small number. Eh? It's it's a little village in 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 China. But from your understanding, what is apart from the good weather and the 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 the, the real estate? What's the reason for people to uh, to come to Cyprus? Well, once, like I mentioned before, uh, Cyprus can be used as a stepping stone for people to go into other European countries. Cyprus can also be used for people who would like to make an investment and expand their business into Europe, because geographically it's positioned right in the middle. Actually, it's closer to Europe, but it makes sense for people who come from Asia and specifically China and who would like to expand their business into Europe, it makes sense for them to set up a European headquarter, headquarters office in Cyprus. Maybe they would like to send some of their people here to oversee their European activities. It's not just families of rich people. It can be businessmen, it can be uh, people who would like to come into Europe and make an investment. Okay, and when, 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 when you are a resident in Cyprus, then, uh, then also your family members and other people uh, working for your company can easier get uh, a permit. Uh, a permit for what? A, a, uh, a, a permit to enter Cyprus and a permit to, uh, to enter the Schengen countries. If you have made an investment of uh, 300,000, yes, it's quite easy to get the, uh, the residence permit. Okay. Okay. Hey, uh, are people? You still have this this uh, uh, political uh, nuisance with uh, with uh, Turkey. Are people not worried? What do you tell them if they, if your investors ask about that? Well, the truth, uh, the situation has been the same, and it has been very stable since 1974. Mm -hmm. Nothing has really happened. Nothing has really changed. And, uh, well, the only change that has happened during the last 40 odd years or so is that the borders have opened and we can visit the northern part and the northern people from the northern part can visit the southern part of Cyprus. So, if nothing else, I would say uh, that things have improved. I would definitely not describe it as a threat because it's not to anybody who would like to come and live here or to anybody who would like to come to Cyprus for an investment here or to use Cyprus for an investment further out into Europe. Okay, okay. Um, then, then what kind of, of uh, premises do the Chinese uh, buy? What is, is it, is it uh, uh, villas, is it uh, factories, is it, uh, because it doesn't, for, for, you, for your investment, it doesn't matter exactly what you, what you purchase. Um, I would basically divide the category of, uh, of real estate into two categories. Uh, the first, and it, it's divided uh, approximately at a ratio of 50-50. Uh, um, the first category is houses. Uh, you can call them villas or summer houses or uh, you can come up with any name you would like. And the other is office uh, office space. Okay. okay. And how many people are actively? How many Chinese are actively living in Cyprus then? I'm not quite certain whether I am able to answer that question accurately, but I would say about two thousand. Okay. Okay, that's right. Then, then the, one of the reasons uh, people, Chinese would go abroad is also because of the education. Is is what what can Cyprus offer? I understand that even most people in Cyprus would go to to Europe or the U.S. for their uh, for their education. Is that true? Uh, well, you have mentioned the U.S. at the beginning of our discussion, and. Uh, I am 
I'm quite certain that uh, maybe 10 or 20 years ago you would have been absolutely correct, but I'm, I'm not so sure whether the U.S. is still so popular as it used to be, as opposed to uh, Australia that you have also mentioned, um, or maybe Canada. But uh, coming back to Europe, uh, I do believe that uh, Europe is becoming more and more popular, both as um, a destination for, for Chinese to live in, to do business in, or for personal family matters that uh, deal with education of their family, their children, etc. Yeah, but I'm, 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 I'm living now at this stage, I'm in Switzerland myself, and I must say that uh, Switzerland is putting quite some effort in, in getting also the Chinese in, but um, if, if you look around here, uh, it, it's still other, other groups of people, like Russians, people from India, um, that, that um, even Africans, the old dictator still comes to, uh, to, to Switzerland to uh, spend, uh, spend their money. Um, so I, I was wondering what, what, uh, if, if, if uh, Cyprus is really able to get, to, to help in, 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 in break a kind of mold where, where the Chinese are not going to most of Europe. Um, I'm not sure I, I fully understand the question. Um, are you are you suggesting that uh, whether Cyprus can help people to go into Europe? Yeah, well, well uh, for, for a lot of the, the rich Chinese, Europe hasn't been that attractive. Um, it hasn't been that attractive, uh, but I, from, from the things that we have seen during the last year especially, but it all started about two and a half or maybe three years ago, this is slowly changing. Uh, it's uh, it's nothing that I would call a trend yet, yeah. but we have had increasing numbers from year on, yeah. from year on year. Uh, so uh, and we do expect uh, these numbers to increase furthermore in the future. Yeah, yeah well, well, we we won't want to overdo it. Eh? We talk about slightly over 600 uh, people who uh, who did that. It's like like I said earlier. It's compared to a small village in China. How, how many? How many Chinese you want? Uh, I'm not sure if there is a limit. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I, I know that 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 from Shanghai that you can put a lot of Chinese on a very small space, but uh, I, I guess there should be a limit <laughs> or not. But, uh, uh, I'm, I'm surely not the right person to ask, answer the question. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. There, there's, there's not, it's not like the government has been thinking about this, about what, uh, what are you going to... Is, is, is there a kind of government policy or is it more private entrepreneurs like, uh, like your company that are trying to get the Chinese in? Uh, whether there are private entrepreneurs like uh, ourselves who are trying to get the Chinese in, we always have to go through the government because they are the ones who issue the uh, the residence permits. Uh, we haven't had any difficulty whatsoever so far. Uh, there has not been an official policy uh, stating a restriction again so far. Mm -hmm. So it's a very hard to answer question. Okay, so, so there is not really, well, well I guess that that Cyprus has a few uh, more problems than, than, than and, and the, especially the rich Chinese are still uh, seen as a as a bit of a solution for the economic problems that Cyprus is having or not. Um, well, Cyprus is having economic problems. So is the rest of Europe, and maybe this is uh, this should be seen as an opportunity uh, to make an investment either in real estate or in other areas. By many people, it's viewed like that. And uh, also, uh, I did mention before the attractive tax regime which applies in Cyprus. It is a combination of all. Uh, some people can make an investment in Cyprus. They know that their tax is not going to be very high. Uh, it makes their life easier. They can uh, bring wealth in Cyprus. They can move wealth via Cyprus. So it's it's a place that can uh, 
can act very attractively for people who have uh, a lot of money. You, you think that would actually change if uh, Cyprus would become part of the Schengen countries? Um, we hope that it will not change. And you everything mean? indicates that it will not change. We have had, let me put it another way, we have had absolutely no indication showing that it will change once Cyprus becomes a part of the Schengen Agreement. But that's still only political agenda to, uh, to, uh, for, for Cyprus to become part of the Schengen uh, Agreement. Um, a lot of information is being passed around. Uh, I've heard that um, I've heard the theory which suggests Cyprus will become a member of the Schengen Agreement by 2015. Um, I tried to cross-check it. I have found absolutely no official document suggesting something like that. And uh, I am not trying to say that Cyprus will not become a member of the Schengen Agreement. Uh, but it's nothing that we can clearly see in the shortcoming future. Okay. okay. Do, do, do you see a competition coming up from, uh, from other uh, uh, countries like uh, Spain or Portugal? Who have the same, the same nice climate, who have also uh, actually... Uh, I've, I've seen some, some footage of real estate in Spain where I wouldn't be found dead because it's so so it, it's such a disaster but but uh, it, it would be an opportunity for Spain and Portugal too it's an opportunity for a lot of countries and if you say if we can see or feel any competition yes of course we can uh, but uh, let's take Portugal for example Portugal is on the other side of Europe it's on the west end of Europe so for a person from China to go all the way to Portugal, he has to fly over the entire continent of Europe first. And then if he wants to go back to another country, he has to fly back, which is not as convenient as Cyprus. Okay, okay. okay. well, well it's, 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 it's all uh, coming up in the, the coming years. And uh, I foresee that we are going to discuss this a bit. If, if this becomes a success, we will discuss this a bit more. Like uh, there are a lot of practical things also for when Chinese come to Cyprus. Um, um, people in uh, they tend to speak Chinese. H how do you solve the the language problem for people who are entering uh, Cyprus? Well, we haven't really had a big problem. Uh, usually, the people who come here are uh, uh, quite quite fluent when it comes to English. Mm -hmm. And the same applies for people from Cyprus. Uh, English is uh, unofficially a second language here. So most people speak English quite fluently. So communication is not really an issue. Okay. Um, well, we, we discussed shortly the education. Eh? There's still an, an, uh, uh, one of the reasons the Switzerland think they are much better than the rest of Europe is because of their, uh, uh, their tough boarding schools that, 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 that keep the, the, the Chinese children in check. It, uh, you, you have anything on, on that side? Um, nothing that would uh, compete clearly with any of the other famous for their educational system European countries like uh, uh, Switzerland or uh, UK or Germany. Or maybe France. Okay. Well, and, but, and uh, yeah. uh, I, w I would say that again, Cyprus can be used as a stepping stone to all those other countries. Well, with the exception of Switzerland, of course. Well, Switzerland is part of the Schengen countries too, eh? But Cyprus is not. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you th it, it would be harder to uh, to uh, uh, from Cyprus to come to Switzerland. Not really. Uh, I, th I think if, uh, you, if you're in the Schengen countries, you can go wherever you want. That is correct. Uh, or that is what I know as well. Yeah. Uh, if you uh, are a resident of a Schengen country, then you can visit any other Schengen country without any uh, having to go through any other further procedures. Yeah. 
uh, from Cyprus you would still need a visa to go to Switzerland or to any other Schengen country. Yep, that's okay. Uh, but like I said before, once you have a, a permit to enter and live in Cyprus, it's a lot easier to obtain that Schengen visa. Okay. Well, that that that, that, that looks like a, well, an, an, an interesting development. I'm 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 quite sure. I I just met the other week uh, Rupert Hogewerf, who is uh, doing the China Rich List, and um, we should uh, set him on your track to uh, to to see if uh, the two of you can cooperate on that. Uh, that would be. An, uh, I would thing. be very happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, thank you very much, Paul, for for explaining a bit how it works in in your case. And I'm sure that uh, that uh, uh, when this uh, this uh, takes off, we uh, will talk again. Thank I you would very be much. very happy to. Thank you.